You know, it doesn't take much for pagans, for those who aren't Christians, to act more like a Christian than you people do, more than you do. The prayer born aren't going to enjoy Memorial Day when they're being butchered to death. They're not going to enjoy it. Look, look, this is what's going to happen to your prayer born neighbor. Look, don't harden your heart. Here, you, you look at this. Look, look, look. Does that not bother you at all? You harden your heart? You harden your heart. Sir, you must have abortion in your background for you to act like this. Unabortionnow.com Ma'am, look, don't harden your heart. Don't, don't, don't harden your heart, ma'am. This is your neighbor. Why are you hardening your heart, ma'am? You don't want to see it. Do you have baby bones in your closet, ma'am? Have you paid for abortion? Has your daughter murdered her baby? You don't get it, ma'am. You don't get it. You're not taking any action. Why do you harden your heart, ma'am? You, you must have paid for an abortion or something or counseled for one for you to act like this. Guys, guys don't act like this unless they've got baby bones in their closet. Have your children, have they, do they have a missing sibling through abortion, surgically, chemically? Is that why you're acting like a little boy right now? Is that why you stand in front of the signs so people won't see it? Do you not realize that children are saved through these signs? But you don't care about that, do you? You just don't want anyone to be offended. You don't want anyone to be hurt by it, do you? But you don't care at all for pre-born children being butchered because of little spineless cowards like you, do you? No, you don't. You don't. Or are you doing this just because that the, the, high, the false shepherd here told you to do this? Did he tell you to, to uh, blot the sign so that no one might be offended or hurt? So their feelings wouldn't be hurt? Steer their consciences? their sins under the rug, their sins of apathy and carelessness, indifference, inaction. Future generations will look upon spineless cowards like you, sir, and they'll wonder how the, was his heart so hardened? Why, how was his neck so stiffened? This is your neighbor. This is your neighbor right here. This is your neighbor who needs your help. This is your neighbor. Don't harden your heart. What are you going to do about children being murdered this coming week? Endabortionnow.com equips churches to stand outside abortion mills and plead for their lives. Why is this church not doing that? From what I can see, you desperately need help in knowing how to abolish abortion because you got people here that can't hinder the message enough. You wonder why we come here? We'll look at your response. I've had lots of opposition at, at pagan festivals. I've had lots of opposition at rock concerts, at sporting events. I've had lots of opposition from homosexuals than from you people. You stand in front of a sign, sir, is that how hard-hearted you are? You stand in front of a sign of a, of a murdered baby? You're not, we're not preaching the choir. You stand in front of a sign of a murdered baby. <laughs> that exposes your heart, sir. Your heart is wicked from what I can see. From what I can see. You stand in front of a sign of a murdered baby, sir. Do you have baby bones in your closet? Have you paid for, have you paid for an abortion or counseled for an abortion? Is that why you are hardening your heart right now? Stiffening your neck? Just look around. Look, look behind you. Look what I'm showing you. A murdered baby. As you harden your wicked heart. Is it, what are you going to answer to God on Judgment Day when, he, when you're asked what you did for the pre-born neighbors? Are you going to say, I stood in front of that sign so people wouldn't see their neighbors in need? Is that what you're going to say? Is that what you're going to say? These are your neighbors that he's blocking. Don't let, don't let this goat hinder you from loving your pre-born neighbor. Don't let this goat hinder you from obeying God, from loving Jesus Christ. So you need to repent of your wickedness. You need to repent. You need to examine yourself. Because right now, you're helping to ensure that the slaughter of the preborn continues. I would expect much better from professing Christians. I would expect professing Christians to help us to work to abolish abortion, not to cover up the images of the murdered preborn neighbors as you are doing. And you'll answer to God for this wickedness. You will answer to God for your rebellion. Make no mistake about that. Your preborn neighbors are being slaughtered every day in this country.
People care about their freedoms, they care about liberty and justice, but what about their freedom, what about liberty, what about justice for your pre-born neighbors? For our pre-born neighbors? Who cares about their liberty? Who cares about justice for them? The two greatest commandments are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. But what I have seen at this place is not is indifference, apathy, and hatred towards preborn children, the most needy of our neighbors. When am I going to hear something besides I pray about abortion? I'm on your side. I read the Bible, but if a man looks back in the hot car, I'll just read the Bible and pray about it. I won't break the word down and save it. If someone were to come out here with a knife and start hacking us to pieces, would you just pray about it? Would you just walk by and read your Bible? Or would you take action? Would you stop the murderer? Because there are, because there are murderers in your midst, serial killers, who are hacking children to pieces. And you do nothing about it. Most do nothing about it. Are there mothers in this congregation who have murdered their babies through surgical or chemical abortion? Are there fathers who paid for an abortion or counseled for one? These are your pre-born neighbors, ladies. Will you, will you love your pre-born neighbor as yourself? What does it matter if you say I'm pro-life, I'm anti-abortion, you just walk by and you ignore us. You ignore the Christians who take murder seriously. You're not on our side. You're not on our side when you know that murder is taking place, but you won't do anything about it. That's not being on our side. That's being rebellious against God. So when you spread out your hands in prayer, I will hide my eyes from you. Yes, even though you multiply prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are covered with blood. You wonder why the murder of the, the mass murder of the preborn has continued for 47 years? I present to you Exhibit A, the response of this church full of hard-hearted people. Your apathy is killing preborn children. Your apathy, your silence, your coldness of heart is murdering your preborn neighbors. And you'll answer to God for every ounce of blood shed from your preborn neighbors. The, the blood of these children cries out against to God against you as a testimony against your apathy. Please don't pray to God. Please don't sing songs to God when you ignore mass murder happening on your watch because God won't hear it. You're wasting your time. God won't hear it. Please repent with us. Repent of your silence, of your apathy, of your indifference. You wonder, why are the churches closed down? Why were the churches closed down and the abortion mills remain open? Why is that? Our, the governor of Wisconsin declared abortion to be essential the murder of preborn children to be essential, but, he's, but he found the churches not to be essential. The churches in this country are not considered essential according to governing authorities. Why is that? Whether the churches are closed or open, the preborn get slaughtered. When the churches were closed for the past couple months, the sidewalks in front of these murder mills, these abortion mills, remained empty or next to empty. You had time. You had more time than ever to love your preborn neighbor and you still did nothing. I went out to those abortion mills and I saw the same amount of people as before. Sidewalks that were almost empty. Sometimes they were empty. And you continued to disobey God. Just like the Christians, the professing Christians in Nazi Germany, 
just like the professing Christians during the days of slavery. The vast, vast majority did nothing. They knew that their neighbors were being enslaved, tortured, murdered. They knew that their neighbors were being taken away to Auschwitz, to Dachau, to Buchenwald, to be murdered. And what did they do? They sang a little louder. They sang a little louder to drown out the cries. They raised their hands and praised to God. While the, they knew their neighbors, they saw their neighbors on the train passing by on the way to the death camp. And they hardened their heart. They stiffened their neck. They did nothing for their neighbors in need. And our response today is the same. It's not Jews, it's not born people being massacred, it's pre-born people being massacred. And your response is the same. Even the professing Christians in Nazi Germany had an excuse. They knew that if they spoke out, they would have been sent to a concentration camp like Dietrich Bonhoeffer, like Martin Niemöller. They knew they may have been murdered. What's your excuse? We have a First Amendment free speech in this country to where you can do what we're doing. You can go out to the places, the abortion mills, where your pre-born neighbors are being murdered without going to jail, without being arrested, without being cited. And yet you still do nothing. At least the people in Nazi Germany had an excuse. They, would have, they may have been put to death for opposing Hitler and the Nazis. Your excuse is, eh, it's not my calling. I'm not, that's someone else's calling. I'm, I'm too busy. I, yeah, that, that's, that, that's your business. I'm glad that's your calling, but yeah, I got a job, I got a family, so I'm not gonna do anything. And you'll give an answer to God for your hard-heartedness. We are so much more guilty than Nazi Germany. So much more guilty.